Hello and welcome back to another video where today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now as you can see we've actually got two of these, we've got one in white and one in burgundy which is Mrs Tech Giants and if you want to see the unboxing of that then I'll leave a link to her channel in the description. Now, currently myself and Mrs. Tech Giant both own Galaxy Note phones, myself owning the Note 20 Ultra and Mrs. Tech Giant the Note 10 Plus. And if I just bring in my box for the Note 20 Ultra, just look at the uh, size difference there. Now, it's the same sort of dimensions like that, but when it comes to the height, it is significantly bigger. I mean, even if I bring in two of the S22 Ultras, they still aren't as big as that Note 20 Ultra box. Now the reason for this is that the S22 Ultra, which we all know is pretty much a replacement for the Note range, doesn't come with a power brick or headphones, which the Note did. So already the Note is one up on the S22. Now why I have an issue with this is because if I go to sell this phone on that someone's going to say to me does it come with a power brick and if I say no they're going to want money off and if I say yes I sell it with that phone means I've then got to buy a new one for this and at these sort of prices that is not on. So now we've got that first negative out of the way let's uh, just remove that box for one second and uh, let's take a proper look at the phone that we're going to be unboxing and uh, First off, just a quick thing to point out, if uh, you haven't already noticed, that the S depicts what colour that you've gone for. So obviously the white there and the burgundy there. On the box, not a lot to see. So we've just got Galaxy S22 Ultra and S22 Ultra around the side. And on the other side, just Samsung. So I've gone ahead and I have cut the security seals on either side of the phone. So let's genuinely lift the lid for the very first time. And uh, there we go, not a lot to look at, a bit of dust on there. And uh, let's lift it out by that pull tab. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm not even gonna look at it. Let's put it to one side quickly and just see exactly what is in this box. So, uh, yeah, nothing there, just this little pouch. And we have our cable there in black. And then a quick start guide there and some other rubbish that no one will ever read. So let's bring the phone in now then and take a proper look. So first off then, as we can see, it does look like we have got a pre-installed screen protector. Now, uh, it does look like you should maybe peel that off, but potentially you could uh, trim that down and leave that in place. I know a lot of people uh, do like to leave those on, so uh, that is an option if you wish. And uh, of course, we've got that hole punch camera there as well. So let's turn it over and see exactly what it looks like. And there you go. So, uh, well, yeah, first impressions. Uh, I didn't realize it was a matte texture on the back there. Uh, to be honest, if I actually just grab my Note 20 Ultra, I think I prefer the, uh, the shiny or glossy look on that. Uh, please let me know in the comment section which you prefer out of two. And as well, that camera array. Now, a uh, bit of a controversial one. Again, I'm going to be totally honest. I think I prefer it on the Note. Now, uh, one of the reasons for this is that we've got that rectangle there, which is solid. But on the S22 Ultra, we've got these individual camera rings just there. And uh, I can't help but think that if you're maybe going to uh, rock this phone naked, then you're going to get a lot of dust and debris potentially build up in between those lenses. Now, I have got a couple of genuine Samsung cases here, and uh, if you look, you can see they are actually cut out properly for those camera lenses, which is good. 
But um, what I've seen of cheaper phone cases, they generally sort of just cut out like that and nothing going through the middle of the lenses. And uh, once again, I think uh, that could be an issue picking up, you know, dust debris and uh, fluff when it's in your pocket, which isn't gonna look very nice. Next, let's take a look around the sides of the phone. And uh, for this, I'm gonna bring in the Note 20 Ultra for comparison. So Note is on the top and S22 below. So on the side, on the S22, we've got the volume rocker there and the power button. And as you can see, it's set, uh, or both are set slightly higher than on the Note. Moving round to the bottom, and uh, we've got our SIM tray just there on the S22. And uh, if you can see there, we've got a microphone there and a microphone there on the Note. Obviously, charging ports in the same place and so are the speakers and the S Pen. Moving around to the other side, nothing on there. At the top, obviously with the Note, we've got the SIM tray on the top and microphones slightly set off different as well. Now, something else worth pointing out about the design, which uh, is a little bit hard to show on camera because of uh, it reflecting, and that's the silver strips on the side. So on the Note, as we can see, it's quite slim, but on the S22, it's quite a bit thicker. So uh, potentially you're gonna pick up more fingerprints on that S22 side compared to the Note. Now the in the hand feel, I'd say the S22 does feel a little bit better. Fraction more weight to it, I'd say. And uh, thickness wise, you can see that just there. It is uh, a bit more thicker than the Note, but to be honest, I actually prefer that. Just feels a little bit better in the hand, and the Note feels a little bit more sort of sharper on these edges compared to the S22. Now looking at the dimensions of the phones, so S22 Ultra on the right, and when it comes to the height, there is barely anything in it. The Note 20 Ultra is a fraction taller, and if we put them end to end, just like that, again, hardly anything in it. Now already, after just a few minutes of holding it, dare I say it, if you are gonna rock this phone without a case, it does feel very slippery compared to the Note. I do prefer the Note feel when it comes to the grippiness over the S22 Ultra. Moving on to the S Pen now then. Let's just push that in and pull that out. And, oh, that's a bit of a surprise because that is a matte black. And uh, I suppose the matte theme coming from the back of the phone uh, carries over to that S Pen. And uh, we've got the chrome on the bottom there. And of course, the button and nice and clicky and if being totally honest i don't really use the s pen to its full abilities because what i tend to do is just stand around talking to people and i just stand there flicking that in and out but still it's a bit of entertainment nonetheless pulling out the s pen on the note and you can see that that is white and to be honest i think i prefer the white with the white than on the black let's just have a look at where the buttons are located and lining those up. Yeah, pretty much, well, they are exactly the same. And there we go, the phone is officially turned on and all set up. So if we bring in the Note 20 Ultra, both of the phones on the same screen, and uh, gives you an idea there of what the differences are between the two screen sizes. And as you can see, there is barely anything in it at all. Now what I've done, I have set up this phone in the most basic way possible. So I've done all the updates, so everything is fully up to date, all the software. I've not deleted or added any apps whatsoever. So if we go to device care, now this phone is the 512 gigabyte version. And if we go to the storage, you can see out of the box, like I said, 
all the updates done, but without deleting or adding anything, it says we have 10% used, which is 56.26 gigabytes. And if we move down, we can see exactly what that is made up from. So uh, the majority of that is the system at 48.98 gigabytes and other being 7.27. So just for a bit of fun, I have fired up Geekbench 5 for both of the phones. So on the left is the S22 Ultra, and uh, let's see exactly what results we get. There we go, both are completed. The S22 Ultra finishing significantly quicker than the Note 20. So single core is 1183 versus 904 and 3659 on the multi-core versus 2453. Just checking out one of my own videos now then, and uh, this video is in HDR, and uh, as you can see, it is literally blowing out on the camera, so let me just adjust that there. And uh, yeah, trust me, this screen is properly bright. As you can see, look how the camera is adjusting there to that brightness. So that just gives you an idea of exactly how bright this screen can go. Now, quality-wise of the image, well, it isn't going to disappoint. Uh, I think it's fair to say that Samsung are the leaders when it comes to mobile screen displays. And uh, personally, I have never seen anything better than this on a phone. Now I know this isn't the ideal conditions, but again, just as a bit of a taster, let's turn up the volume. With the sea surrounding it, as you enjoy a nice meal. And I have seen video of that before, it's all lit up nicely, it's very romantic. And uh, doesn't sound too bad, probably not as good as uh, the latest iPhone, if I'm being honest, but uh, definitely not offensive. So just before I wrap up this video, I've taken a few sample shots to whet your appetite before I do my main camera test video. And first impressions are very good indeed. I was particularly impressed with the macro mode because it's a feature that I didn't have on my Note 20 Ultra. So it is great to test that out. Not that the Note 20 Ultra is a bad phone at all, but I am hoping for exceptional things with this S22. And something that really did stand out was the portrait mode. Just take a look at that. How clear does that look? Really good edge detection. And again, another nice close up mode. Again, see all the fluff on there and Finally, a night shot. Very impressive indeed. So there we have it then, guys. Now, I will be doing a full-on camera test with this phone uh, in both the day and the night, testing out the photos and video capabilities. And I will also test it out against the Note 20 Ultra. And also, I think we'll test out what the speakers are like side by side with uh, both phones and also the displays when out in very bright sunlight. So if you have enjoyed today's video, do us a favor and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd like to see those upcoming videos, then please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notified of those latest uploads. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.